I'm fucking stoned. All righty, guys, welcome back. And week two of the League of Inches crew, the OGs. And I tell you what, we've got a face that I feel like we haven't seen for about a year. And as soon as the Bulldogs get some signings, he pokes his head back out. We know he was a bit emotional <laughs> last year. I think one of the last videos we did with him, he was a bit over it, but he's back, smile on his face. It's good to see Josh back and Sid's back in his, I think that might be his car. So we've got Sid another new location, which is great. Love it. Um, but this is what we're all about. We're keeping it real, doing what we can, get some uh, videos out for you guys. And look, it's round one. We've, we'll start off. We're not going to do anything too boring. We obviously got the previews and stuff. We're going to look at each match and pick out a player that we feel will be the key for that team to to win the game. So you'll obviously know who we tip going off that. Um, and then basically, yeah, just go through that for the, the eight games. So, Josh, we'll get you straight up, get you into it. Um, Eels versus Storm, the first game to kick off round one. Footy's back. Key player for you oh, for this game. Um, Mitchell Moses. I'm tipping the Eels to win. Mitchell Moses to have a big one. Yeah. I think him and Sivo and Gutherson are going to have a big game. Sivo's just on a two-year deal with them again, so expect big things, man. I reckon it was yeah. an underdog as well. You're a betting man. Yeah, they, they are surprising. I was actually a, bit, a little yeah. bit surprised by that. Um, Sid, what do you got? Um, I'm going to go against the grain here. I reckon Harry Grant, now that it's settled, he's the number nine. He doesn't have to worry about the cheese uh, breathing down his neck. He can play his game. They're going to run all sorts of uh, um, uh, tricks uh, starting from him, you know, from the dummy half area. I'll go – I'll agree with Josh. I'll tip Parra and I think Moses as well. I think I have a sneaky feeling we're going to hear something about his contract before the game. So I think he'll extend tomorrow. I think there's a, a timing for that. I think they want to do it at the stadium and have the fans sort of behind him. And I think he'll come out and have a big game for, for the Eels. Friday night, uh, we've got the first game across the ditch. We've got the Warriors um, against the Knights. So we'll go Sid with his, <laughs> if you're watching the video here, he uh, he loves the Warriors. Sid, a <laughs> uh, key player for yours for this game. Um, well, interesting. I, I think um, I think Sean Johnson, is, is, um, it'd be interesting to see if he finally takes that playmaker role like Benji did in his last couple of years. Um, um, I want to watch him closely because I'm one of those that I just feel sorry for him, like watching him decline. And then he got that, when he just started getting fallen, he got that Achilles heel injury, which is most blokes don't come back 100%. They usually come back 80 or 90%. They're never the same player. Um, but he's got a full preseason. It's his what, second full year that back home at, uh, at the Warriors, expecting big things from SJ. Oh, look, yeah, he's back to his touch footy days. Uh, Josh, what do you got? I'm going to agree with Sid there, yeah, because I'm I'm tipping the Warriors as well, and I'm tipping Sean Johnson. But you know these two teams, man, it's hard to find a key player, especially last the last couple of seasons. So, but Sean Johnson's a standout for me. Like I think Warriors are going in for a big season as well. Yeah, it's also a hard game to tip for mine. I think this is one of the closer games of the round. Um, I'm going to go Tohu Harris, so I'll, I'll go the Warriors to win as well. Um, so unanimous in that one. I think I'm going to point out him because I think. The year before last year, obviously, he was out most of it with his injury, but he was sort of a glue for the Warriors in his, when he's really on and he's got a full preseason, which allows their key playmakers and their flashy outside backs to do their thing because then they've got a bit more freedom to do that and knowing that Tohu Harris will be the glue that sort of makes sure the defense is there to, to clean up any of the mistakes that are made off the back of that. So I think Tohu Harris is going to be key for obviously the Warriors for this game, but also for the for the year. Um, I think if he can stay fit to allow the likes of Johnson, Tamari, Martin, um, Charles Nickel Clockstad as well, and then just that flashy outside backs, I think they could have a year where they surprise a few, uh, the Warriors. The for next Friday, the key Friday night game on Channel 9 would be the, the Premiers going for a hat-trick, the Panthers. Um, wasn't good enough for St. Helens, but they, they'll win the NRL competition year in, year out at the moment. And then the Broncos as well. Um, what have we got here, Josh? Like, how can we go past Cleary? How can we go past Penrith? You know what I mean? Especially all the struggles Broncos are going through and all this off-season stuff. Um, 
I reckon Penrith are going to do a demolition job on them. Yeah, yeah. Sid? Um, I think um, Panthers, it's going to be a lot closer, I think. I think Panthers are going to start slow. If you remember, a lot of their players came back from the World Cup late, which means they started their pre-season late. Um, oh. and they're a little bit rusty. Uh, we talked about last episode the the, the loss of Coruscant. Um, it's massive. Um, um, but um, I think they will scrape a win, and I, I, I can't go past Cleary as, as the main man. I'll have to go different. I'll go as Isaiah Yo. I think the Panthers will win. I agree with Sid. I think this will be a lot closer than a lot of people think. I still think the Panthers will be a bit rusty early on, um, as Sid made a point about the coming back to training late. I know a lot of them actually came back a bit earlier to play the World Club Challenge, which I think early on the coach might ease those players back in. Um, the training loads might not be as heavy as some of the other teams, and I think that might just take a little bit of time to get back into the groove. I think the Coruscant loss is huge. Um, I think we're going to see that early on. They, they will miss him a heap. And obviously the kick-out factor of being, oh. being able to give the ball to kick-out when they're in trouble and not knowing what to do, sort of, they'll just have that kick-out factor. And I think Isaiah Yo will be that man who will just keep everything together in both attack and defence and just make sure um, no one sort of gets overwhelmed or frustrated too much on the field. I think Isaiah Yo is the best lock in the game and I think that we'll see... Uh, Friday night, exactly the reason why. Um, next game up, we've got the first Saturday game, and I think one close to Josh's heart. He's already got the smile happening. He's ready for this one. So <laughs> I'll let you tee off first, Josh, with this one. Manly versus the Bulldogs. And I think for a Bulldogs fan, I'll let you quickly have a bit of words about the Dogs. It's oh, oh, a fresh start. This, yeah, this, without a doubt, I promise you, is probably one of the biggest games we've had to the start of the season in the last five years. Mm. The expectation of this team, all the signings and everything, Reid Marnie, kick out, you know, they're major signings for us. And this is it for us, man. I think I think this new combination of Matt Burden to Viliami kick out is going to be a killer combination. You know what I mean? They did it in Penrith together, but obviously Burden played in the centres. But... Being second receiver, giving it to kick out, that's the first try, in my opinion. First try of the match, and that's how it's going to be. Look out, you Dogs 20-plus, well. mate. Jeez, I'm going to ask the best bet at the end of the, the video, and you've already gone out early, so that's nice. <laughs> um, Sid, your, who you got for this one? Who Who's your key player? Um, Yeah, yeah. Look, um, I think Reed Money makes a difference. and I've been reading. I didn't see much of the trials, but I've been reading that Reed Money's actually got controlling the rock and um he's already getting into his big man telling them where to go dragging blokes here and there giving them a spray when needed that's awesome you love you love to see that from your dummy half your, your little bloke he's not he's not shying around he's there he's there he means business you know um as far as mainly goes while their form uh trial form is impressive it's one of those things when you play well in trials everyone gets excited when they play crap in trials they're they're like oh don't worry but it's just trials um but um I don't like Manly, so I'm coming for the Bulldogs. So I'm not give a shit. No, <laughs> that's really. the first ever, mate. First time tipping the dogs, eh? I almost fell off my chair when I heard that. He doesn't <laughs> go for the dogs at all, so he must really hate Manly. I don't like him, mate. I'll um, I'll go for Manly for this one. I think just the home factor is pretty big, but I agree with Josh. I think this is a massive game. The dogs just need to stay with them for the full eighty and just show their fans that they're in this season for all the right reasons and they've have changed the corner. Um, I know I've mentioned in the past, their spine for mine. I, I think the fullback position is a bit of a worry. And I think Flanagan's confidence might be a little bit of a worry early on. I just hope he really works well with Burton and they give him a good chance. Um, Manly, the player to watch for mine, I think it just has to be Turbo. Him back, hopefully to full fitness at Brookie. Uh, it's a dangerous combination. I don't think... Many teams would, would want to verse uh, Manly first up, knowing that they've got at home ground advantage and they've got a full, uh, almost a fully fit. Well, what, that's what we're getting told, Turbo. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, his Hemi does pull up. Uh, the Cowboys versus the Raiders, boys. Um, I'll let you guys have a little bit of thinking time. I'll go to the Cowboys first up. I think they're going to smash. Um, and I think Nana uh, is a player to watch. I think he'll just keep going with how he was last year. I think he was a freak and. Um, he'll quickly probably for mine become the best second rower in the comp. I think by probably halfway through the year, 
I predict he's probably going to score a double um, in this. I don't think the Ra- uh, Raiders will be able to control him. So, Sid? Um, I, I'm liking the Cowboys. And, and again, uh, from all reports, uh, I heard a commentator during the charity shield actually jokingly say, someone should tell the Cowboys it's just trial matches because they, he had watched the game before and and they were just, you know, tripping over each other, playing finals footy already. Um, but they're impressive. I, I like... Uh, I like Nanai as well. I'm, I'm a big fan of the, the edge back row. They can split the line. Heart, even if he half gets through, it's always a quick play of the ball. He asks questions of the defense. He can chase those little chips, which are awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, good good for his super coach team. He racks up the points, you know. <laughs> yeah, nice little point in the direction there. Uh, he's a bit pricey early on. Let's see what happens. Josh? I agree with both of you guys, eh? Like, that's the main bloke. So, yeah, Cowboys. Cowboys should do this easy as well. Nice and easy there. Sharks versus South in arguably, I feel like the game of the round. Um, I felt like it lost a little bit with the Heinz factor. He's not been there. So I think the Sharkies lose just a little bit. Um, for that for that reason alone, I'll be actually tipping South. I actually was on the Sharks before Heinz was out. So that's changed me over. And I, the main reason for that, I think it's hard to single out the one player in South Sydney. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and say Walker and Latrell. I think they'll just start their combination and want to really start on the right foot early on here and get South off to a really good start for the season ahead. Um, they've got a really good side on paper. I, I was a bit surprised with the the rabbits. They're sort of sneaking up this year and I think they're a team to watch, but yeah, for mine, I think it's that sort of brotherhood of, of Walker and Latrell really caused some damage there in at Shark Park. I think it'll be a really close game, but I just think that Nico Hines factor for mine edges uh, the needle towards South Sydney. Josh? Yeah, I'm going to take uh, South as well. Like you said, there's no Nico Hines, but I think Damien Cook around the ruck, mm. I think he might run right again. You know what I mean? So I reckon he's my key player. I think he's in an interesting point with him. I think it's a big year, especially the first 10 weeks because – He's been lost now to Coruscant in the pecking order, and I think that'll really sting him. I think last year he'd probably admit it wasn't his best year, um, and he has lost. I think the 14 in origin is a bit of a kick in the guts for him. He definitely wants to be that starting nine. So I'm anticipating a really big start to the year from Damian Cook. He's, and by the way, if you didn't know, he's a beach sprinter. So uh, <laughs> not sure if anyone knew that, but just, yeah, a um, little pop quiz. Uh, Sid? <laughs> like you told us for the 15,000th time is a, yeah, a big sprinter <laughs> every time they stop saying it eventually someone complained on the social media and they stopped saying it again. <laughs> I don't bring it back yeah every time <laughs> every week uh, but, I'm going to mention it now every week yeah it's, it's like me and McGregor <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, look uh, with uh, just on the side now with Cook um, I agree 100% with both of you guys um, it's a big year for him I feel like he needs to reinvent himself. You know, he was a speedy hooker. He holds the ball out in front of him and he runs it behind the markers, you know, causes havoc. Uh, maybe he needs another another uh, string to his bow, if you like. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm, I'm going with Cam Murray. Um, he, he's my main man for this game. South Sydney with a big win. I don't think it's going to be tight. I think South's, South's going to have a big win. Um, they're going to rack up some points and they're not... They're not going to stuff around, try and arm wrestle. As soon as they get one quick available, they swing it, you know, and they let it sing um, and they'll rack up some tries. Cam Murray's link up plays improved dramatically last year, and you're going to see it more this year as well. An extra half of 5 8. Yeah, I agree. Agree there. I think last year, um, south of the team that knocked the Sharks out, if, I'm, if I can remember that correctly. So, second week of the finals. Um, first of the Sunday games, and here we are, boys. We finally see them. Uh, a lot of talk. I feel like they've been coming for about three years now, the amount of talk. And <laughs> Wayne slowly got himself more and more in the media this week. He does it so well. He gets the focus away from his players, the Dolphins versus the Roosters at Suncorp. Um, the Channel 9 game for, for Sunday is going to be a pretty packed house, I'd say, there at Suncorp. Uh, Josh, who you got for this one? I've got the Roosters, eh? I've got yeah. the Roosters absolutely pump them, to be honest. Yeah. Um. I reckon Sam Walker. I reckon yeah. he'll be good. But I don't know. I don't first year in the cob, you know what I mean? Has anything done well besides Melbourne? So I don't know. It's gonna be a tough one, man. Especially for Redcliffe. I don't think I don't know, Wayne Ben the Wayne Bennett factors is still there, you guys reckon? I don't know. I don't think so anymore. 
Uh, in a way, I think it's there, but not as much as it probably was five years ago. I think the the kids these days, it's fair to call them, um, has sort of they don't watch league like the other the old players used to do, and they don't like when they're away from footy, they're not sitting there at the TV watching it like the past players probably would. They sort of get away and just yeah, just try to pl- probably play their playstations or something or <laughs> chat up chicks. Who knows what they do? But they're definitely not watching footy, I don't think so. Uh, Sid, what do you got? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cause a boil over here. I've got a sneaky suspicion dolphins are gonna do them. Oh, I've got a couple of reasons. Uh, this is the Bennett factor. Now, with Bennett's style, it's all about percentage play. There'll be no fancy stuff. It'll be just carting it up, getting smashed, carting it up, getting smashed, and waiting for the error. Um, yeah. And um, the other factor is to consider. Roosters are perennial slow starters. Yeah. They almost lose every first game for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years maybe, the first game. And they lose sometimes three, four, and five games at the start of the season. Um, and obviously the past doesn't dictate the future, but I don't know. I just have a feeling if they are, they are down a few pegs, you know, if they're timing their run in terms of training and whatever else, they're still in a heavy workload training. Um uh, the Bennett's men might um might 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 surprise them. As far as a key player, I, I couldn't give you a player, frankly. I haven't seen the lineup so. <laughs> Wow. Say to this guy, mate. <laughs> nah, he's, gone, he's gone, gone the dolphin. Oh, he's too <laughs> there. Wait, breaking news. The, breaking the news. The dolphin brothers. signed Teddy. Breaking news here. <laughs> this is what you get. So Tedesco signs with the Dolphins. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Why don't you say, Sid, say Katoa. Say the young kid Katoa. It's starting at five eight. That's a big, big. Oh call. yeah, yeah. As long as you're not going to hit me with Milford, because yeah, no. So the I guy just, that replaced him, right? I just want to say for those who watched last week, I told you so. I, I told so, you Milford would be Gornski. Um, right, yeah. That was the mail. That was the mail. That was some strong mail there. Thanks, mate. I just, you know what? Oh, they call me a postman because I just keep delivering mail. And I actually delivered early. Yeah, well, TC Rapati's done really well. He's actually he's not even in the comp anymore. He's gone. He's had the the what well, the bloody voice of death really given to him by Sid. I want to go. Yeah. I sort of agree in a way with Sid, but I think the Roosters will still still have enough just to get the job done. I don't think it'll be a smashing, and I think it'll be off the back of this guy. I think Teddy will be everywhere. Um, he'll rack up his 300 plus meters. I reckon he'll probably score two tries. Um, he'll do enough to make sure the Roosters get across the line, but the Dolphins won't embarrass themselves in this. I think Bennett will really have them up. Um, I'd be worried for the Dolphins a little bit further down in the competition when that excitement factor is, is sort of going away from them. I think at the moment, Bennett will really use that and get them up. So last game. Of the round, and that's the at Leichhardt Oval, uh, the home of rugby league for some. A lot of those Tigers fans out there. Um, a big game. I feel like for both sides, they want to get away to a win, and they'll probably feel like they should be able to beat the opposition in this game. Tigers versus the Titans. Uh, Josh, key player for this one. To be honest, this this was a like this was a very hard game for me. Yeah. Tip, eh? Hey? Like, me like too. I still don't even know. Like, I'm actually tossing up. Like. Tigers at home or... Me too. Bloody Titans, yeah. It's just a real tough game for me, eh? And I, like, I'm leaning towards the Titans. Like, I don't even know why, but, like, I'm just <laughs> leaning towards the Titans. I don't have a reason why. But, of course, AJ Brimson, you know what I mean? He's the player. But, honestly, that game's probably the hardest one for me to tip, but I'll go the Titans. AJ Brimson. Yeah, look, I'm in the same boat as you. I, I keep changing for this one. I think it's going to be a really close game. I really like what the Titans are about this year. I like the add-ons of uh, Foran and Verils. I think Fafita will come into his own this year. It's a contract year for him. So I feel like he's going to be up there because he wants wants the big bucks once again and then probably go to sleep next year. Um, <laughs> but I think the Leichhardt factor, I just think the Tigers just have to start. They have to get the win here. They just... I think if they can have the recruitment drive they've just had and come away with this and it's a loss, I think the fans will go into meltdown straight away. Um, so I'll go to the Tigers just, and I think Adam Dewey, which he wants to be called again now, we keep swapping and changing his name, but it's Dewey now. Um, Dewey should, will probably step up and have quite a good game. But look, 
I honestly would not surprise me if Titans win this. Sid? Um, yeah, I think it's going to be really close. Um, there's a bit of a mystery as to what Benji's game plan would be because Benji Marshall's the coach. <laughs> wow, it's so oh, weird, isn't yet. it? <laughs> yeah. well, he is the coach, isn't he? No, nah, not yet. It's Tim Sheens for the oh, next Tim two Sheen's years. The coach. Tim Sheens wow. is the coach for the next two years and then it goes to oh, Benji. Sorry. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? They both have the same style. I'm going to go back to 2005. They're going to go for quick play the balls. They're not going to break tackles. They're going to play around the ruck. Yeah. And um, that was a quick well, save, man. mate. That was a quick save, eh? Hey? Dummies one way. He dummies yeah. the other. <laughs> and, um, you produce um, every week. You get something. I don't know what you must do. You must sit there and think, what can I do this video to just stand out from the crowd? And you've just produced again an all time. I'm going to produce just, something this year. I'm going to I'm just the the team, and have a best of. Yeah. <laughs> You're turning yeah, into yeah. our fatty Vorton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, anyways, my main man is two of them, actually. It's going to be Coruscant and Papali. Yeah. They're going to bring some class to that team, and they're going to bring game, you know, uh, game breakers. They're two game breakers, you know, so, um, and obviously in a high, very high standards as well. Um, to that team, but uh, the Tigers in a very, very close one. Field goal, even. I hope Papa Lee goes shit house, and the Tigers release him, and yeah, he goes back to the Eels. So that'd be fantastic. Um, <laughs> just quickly, boys, just want a, a best bet of the of the round. Something we'll start doing this year, and I'm gonna go. I'll go early on. Um, I'll say a double, a, a little multi here, a double for Tedesco, and then a double for Nani as well in the Cowboys game. So put that as a multi, two tries for each. Josh, I know you love a, a little sneaky one. What do you got for us? Look, my best bet of the week are two underdogs, right? But dogs aren't too much. Dogs are $2. But power into the dogs is my bet of the round. Yeah, I, I like that. That's got a little bit of value to it. Yeah. Two yeah. arch rivals. Doesn't Imagine bucks. putting them together. <laughs> <laughs> they won't see good in the multi, eh? No. Oh, Joel, good. can I just take take a moment to apologize to you, eh? Like, I gave you so much shit <laughs> at the end of last year, bro. Mate. I apologize. Yeah, are we friends again or what? I don't I don't remember the game, so I don't even know what happened in that, that week after <laughs> yeah, the game. I was I'll um, just take you this time just to say sorry, yeah. So we'll oh, move on from that. New season. I'm glad it's on the video so everyone can hold you accountable and just that way everyone <laughs> if Bulldogs go shit house again and just don't deliver. <laughs> I've got a reason. But you know what, I'm not that type of fan. I don't really get into it because I know what it's like, but it is what it is. We That's made the granny the there's always gonna be a loser, so I haven't really you know, what Joel is saying, you know what Joel is saying It's apology not accepted but go on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He still well, has the city you know, I just can't stand the fact That the dogs did shit ass Again last year and the first Two people at me Is the two dogs fans of the group So I was apologising bro Relax I'm saying sorry yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it now. I'll but I'll just sorry. tell the viewers. I was just giving some context yeah, yeah, yeah. to the viewers about what's happened. So yeah. it yeah. is what it is. Sid, get us back here with your your best bet. I know. Uh, actually, oh, first, be... actually, no, yeah. you go go your best bet. Oh, it has to be Dolphins because purely because of the value. Um, yeah. You know, every I always say every game starts in the law. You never know. Twenty. You never know. Could be 10, 12 nil, and then they're just getting the grind. Bennett, what Bennett, are they paying? Sorry, four dollars. Sorry. Wow, that is actually um, value. Eh? Yeah. Well, There's 20. some value there. The, you know, the line's um, good. I think they're getting like 18 and a half starts. So I'm I'm all over them with the 18 yeah. and a half start. Yeah. If they get 8 10 ahead, this is going to be a very nervous game for the Roosters. They'll tighten things up. Um, They'll they'll make sure they don't drop the ball. And um, who knows, mate? Who knows? And just lastly, before we end the video, it's been a nice one, nice quick one. Sid, just want to get your tip on uh, the fight night at Dragons HQ this weekend. Who's going to take it out this week? Well, fuck no. Uh, just, just between the players, obviously last week you had a bit of a biff after uh, the charity shield. I think this week because of the buy, you probably get together, have a few drinks and just want to know which player wins St. George Leafs Club. Yeah, you, know what? you know what? I've got a spray just for you, all right? That was not a fight. This pansy hands-off world we live in, a couple of blokes had a beer and there was a bit of push and shove. Who cares? You bunch of pansies. Far out. What's good? What's this world coming to? Unbelievable. Oh, that was not yeah, a But fight. they shouldn't be it fighting. Was... They're friends, bro. Two men with yeah, testosterone. They had a... Disagree. Yeah, you the don't team... fight with your teammates, bro. To come back to me when there's a real fight. 
Josh, oh. tell them about you and um you and Jason back in the day in front of Red Room doing MMA on each other on the concrete, mind you, <laughs> at four AM in front of the nightclub. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll leave you with the, I'll leave you with the true fight for this year, and that'll be the dragons and the wooden spoon. So they'll be fighting off that all year. So <laughs> good luck. Uh, we'll on, see. on that note, guys, enjoy round one. Uh, it's been fantastic to talk putty again. We'll be back next week.